Family means so much to me. They've had to go through so much for me to be in the position where I'm at today. I never grew up with a lot of things, but we always managed to get through. And until this day, this is it's what keeps me going, it's my drive, and it's the reason why I love what I do. When I come back here to Cobram, it sort of gives me time to just slow down and, and really just spend some good time, quality time with my family, and just be grateful for how far I've come, um, especially from what we've come from. My nan's little house. Hello! Hi, nan. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sura. Hola, Saba. Oh, good brother. Hola. Good, how are you? I'm good. Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Always loved the big hits, and the marking was definitely a big thing for me when I was growing up. I always loved to pretend to take hangers and things like that. Back in the day, they had these packets of chips, and they were putting footy cards in them. I decided to get one, and I opened it up, and I think it was Adam Goods. I just watched their highlights. I think that's how I first got introduced to the game. Give me a, give me a big go. Oh, it's good to be home, man. It's good to be home. I miss it a lot. I know. Had some of the best memories here with my mates, and this club really was good at bringing my family in, and it was a way of us, and my family, building relationships. Coming back here is always so special as well, and it brings back a lot of good memories. Amen. Amen. Fijian culture in general is, is just being really welcome and being able to share things and give back. And I guess that's what my family have really, I guess, driven into me. That's the way I grew up, so I, I just I know nothing different. Having that pathway going through was so important for me. When I started playing footy, I was probably behind the eight ball a bit compared to a lot of my friends. I did grow up going through Auskick, so I definitely had a lot of catching up to do. Probably 2015 was when it really clicked in, and that's when I really got serious about my training. And we always used to go for runs and things like that. Coaches were telling me that I could be okay at this sport if I really put my head down, and it's really just self-belief, I think. Like, I, when I made the bushy side, I was like, yeah, this is cool, I, I could do this. Seeing those players and the way they went about it, I sort of wanted to mimic what they were doing. And especially coming from like a country footy club like this and then going into playing with the big dogs of the leagues. Um, yeah, it was very intimidating. There's always so much hype with the uh, NAB AFL drafts and I try to keep as calm as I could. My grandmother was getting sick of these people with, with polo shirts rocking up to the house asking questions and things like that. Geelong Football Club have chosen Asava Rajagalaya from the Murray Bush Rangers. Looked at the screen and my name was on the screen. I definitely uh, shed a tear out there. and Yeah, it was a big reward for the sacrifices my family made for me and being picked up was sort of a way that I, I could repay them. That night was, um, yeah, was, was definitely a very emotional night, yeah. Hello, yes. uh, Do you go for Geelong? You'd actually? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I sort of found out I was going to make my debut about three days before the game. Number 17 at the back there, you saw Radicalia, one of those debutantes. Just remember just standing there and looking up and looking around, I was like, this is crazy. Like, where, I, where am I? Um, I just couldn't believe it. His first kick on the game's biggest ground, and he splits the middle. Asaba is on the board. My family were at the game. Half the crowd would definitely heard my, my grandmother screaming at the top of her lungs. Mum still told me to this day they cry every time they see me on TV and, and I've played around 50 games as well, so it's a lot of, a lot of emotion. I guess as a kid I didn't really have a, a big role model or a, a man in my life that I could look up to or um, compare things to, so for me being able to be a role model to them is always something that has, has driven me and they get so excited for when I get home and I get excited to see them as well. So. It's always good fun. I really just do like to uh, stay in the moment and, and be grateful for what I already have. I'm in a very fortunate position where I, 
I can support my family and I'm still learning, still trying to develop my game and figure out how I want to play and things like that. But uh, at the moment, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I've got a, got a good supporting family and I'm at a great footy club as well. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, let's go. Say bye, say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, thank you.